Hi, my name is Mike Peel. I've been investigating car crashes, head-on collisions, T-bones for the last 25 years and seeing the devastation that this causes families. Our number one killing accident is head-on collisions, two feet offset of the center left side of the car. Number two killing accident is T-bones, when someone gets hit between the wheels or we hit someone else between the wheels. The number three accident and probably our number one killer with teenagers is rolling the car without a seat belt on. And then their nuisance accident, um, not that it doesn't hurt somebody, but is rear-ending cars. Uh, teenagers' number one accident is rear-ending a car. The number one killing accident we have is head-on collisions, two foot offset on the left side of the car. And what happens there is, is the energy of that two feet has to be absorbed by the whole left side of the car, which becomes a killer. It crushes the space we sit in, air pockets. I tell my students to imagine a pop can or a soda can. It's a metal object with a lot of air inside. Well, our cars are a lot more like that than we tend to believe until we see one crushed in an accident. Taking this is probably going to hurt you really bad, if not kill you. If you can steer the car a little bit to the right, take the hit on the side where it becomes a glancing blow, uh, you might still get injured, but your chances of surviving are a lot better. We need to make so sure that when we exit to the right to avoid a head-on collision, that we don't turn our number one killer into our number two killer, and we exit so far to the right that we take a T-bone. Remember, it's all in that glancing blow. This next step is a simple habit that can literally save your life. Okay, we're coming up to a stop sign. Now it's time to start working on very good habits. And good habits, I'll tell you what, we teach them in the beginning, they last forever. Good habits never go away. We're stopped at a stop sign. I just want to show you something. If you took your two index fingers and held them out to your ears and looked straight ahead, right now you can barely see them. You look to the right, guess what you see? A finger. Look to the left, what do you see? A finger. Let's talk about following distance on a freeway. We drive 70, 75, 80 miles an hour with a one second following distance. We are disasters waiting to happen. Okay, our next phase is country roads. Country roads are so important, actually I call them the killer roads for our young people because of the fact that they don't get enough practice on them. The dangers of country roads are many, including the fact that there is no barrier between you and the cars coming at you. The speed limits are high, the terrain can be unpredictable, which makes it dangerous for high-speed head-on collisions. So it's especially important to be watching for other drivers and to be looking for a defensive driving exit.